Hello, everyone, and welcome to another interview in our series for the Law Marketing Zone Group. I'm very excited to welcome Carla Jones Wilson from BK Financial Solutions out of Sarasota, Florida, here with us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate it, Marilyn. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So Carla is the Vice President and General Counsel and co-owner of BK Financial Solutions, LLC, um, a privately held company that focuses on helping business owners, doctors, executives, lawyers, and professional athletes find financial peace of mind. Um, they use, utilize a variety of tools that allow their clients to plan for tax-free wealth generation and protection, business succession, and leaving a legacy. That is absolutely impressive. I love that. Oh, thank you. Thank yes. you so much. I appreciate that. Well, we all <laughs> want to leave a legacy, right? We want to do the best yes. we can and have something left over. So Carla, tell me a bit about your background. So basically, um, I um, even though I, we, our family lives in Florida right now, I'm originally from the Midwest, the Chicago area. And um, when I uh, first graduated from high school, I ended up going to Purdue University in Indiana and uh, getting an engineering degree. And while I was there, I ran track. Um, so as you can imagine, I was a very, very busy person. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Like yeah. So after uh, college, I worked as an engineer for seven years. And um, after that, I decided to go to law school because I had a couple of friends of mine who were also engineers that decided to go to law school. And I said, oh, if they can do it, I know I could do it. So I uh, went to law school. I was actually 30 when that happened. And um, I actually really loved it. I fell in love with the transactional side of it. And um, I've been an attorney now for over 19 years. And I worked for a firm for a couple of years. And then after that, I went in-house as an in-house counsel um, for a real estate development company. And um, and so, then when my husband, oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I was, I was gonna say, so that's how you, that's a, that's a big change. So that's how you got into real estate through the development it company? Is. Yeah. So actually on the real estate piece of it, what's interesting is um, my the law firm that I was hired with, we represented a lot of real estate developers and we did a lot of public financing with tax, tax uh, you know, uh, exemptions work mm -hmm. and tax credit work. And that really, you know, kind of helped me in terms of understanding all the things that um, happens in the real estate world. And one major thing I forgot to say is that after law school, directly after law school, I did get my master's of law in tax. So I have my LLM. Um, and I did that on purpose um, because I actually had uh, my oldest son my last year in law school. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to have one additional year with him. And that master's of law in tax really kind of made me unique. Not everyone was doing it. And with my engineering background and my math background, it really was easy for me to transition into the LLM program and tax. So I'm so glad I did that because it really did help me with um, my background in real estate. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. I'm seeing I'm seeing the puzzle pieces come together yes. by what you get. <laughs> All right. So then why did you why did you and your husband create BK Financial Solutions? So BK Financial Solutions was uh, created out of the need that we've seen with a lot of executives and professionals. And um, we saw so many people that were similarly situated like we are. My husband, he, he's also a, a retired engineer. Um, and BK fin Financial Solutions came about because we saw so many of our friends um, that were working really hard every day. Um, they were going to work and they just weren't really enjoying what they were doing. Um, and we noticed that Yes, they had money to spend, but they really weren't saving it and they weren't really uh, properly planning for their retirement. Um, you know, a lot of times people think about 401k as the only place for them to save money for the retirement, but there's so many other options that are out there. Um, hence, if they even uh, think about it. I mean, I there's know. so many that don't even think about it. Exactly. And that's one of the things we really um, were passionate about educating ourselves about the different options. My husband kept saying he wanted to retire at 50 and move to Florida. And because we really strategized and planned, you know, we were able to make that happen for him, for him to retire at 50 and move to Florida. And like I said, he was an engineer. And so, you know, we started you know, really doing a deep dive into those specific areas. And we found a lot of tools and strategies that were underutilized that people didn't really know about. Um, real estate being one of them um, as a means um, for people to come in and create, you know, generational wealth. Mm -hmm. And the great thing, um, again, with real estate, that's the area I specifically specialize in. My husband does a lot of other tax-free 
um, you know, tools that we help also educate our uh, clients about. But, um, you know, we just really wanted to educate them, make sure they understood what their options were. And um, for instance, for attorneys, uh, I have known so many attorneys that worked until they were 80, you mm -hmm. know, and it's not because they wanted to do it because they loved it. It's because they had to do it. Yeah. Um, that to me is, is really heart, you know, heart, you know, it, wrenching because uh, our goal is, you know, yes, as an attorney, we're giving back to our clients, but it wears on you, you know, well, and you, you, I mean, we're, we're entrepreneurs to not to, not to give ourselves an 80 hour um, a week job. We're yes. entrepreneurs for a lifestyle. I mean, even, you know, just even a, a solo attorney, you, you started a business to be able to have something and not an 80 hour a week job. Yes. So is, who are your main clients? Who are the, who's the number one people that you're helping right now? So right now, um, kind of like what we talked about before, we do help a lot of law firms, uh, the smaller law firms, the ones that don't typically, you know, have a, uh, a HR department. We also, um, you know, help a lot of uh, doctor's offices um, and we do help other executives. Mm -hmm. um, we have a couple of professional athletes that we're working with currently as well, too, and helping their family, because even with professional athletes, um, you know, they have money for a very short amount of time, but if they don't do anything with that money to help plan for the future, a lot of times they'll blow it. So we mm -hmm. come in at our, when they're, you know, playing in the league and our goal with them is to make sure that we're diversifying their portfolio, you know, so they're able to, again, build generational wealth and have that available. So once they are ready to retire, not just from the NFL, or from the NBA, but also, you know, um, you know, so they have it at a later time. Um, and, and it it makes us feel really good to know that we're able to give back and and help people actually leave a legacy for their family. Right, exactly. And with, you know, anyone that's got um, a good uh, income, but yes, I was just uh, reading a Larry Bird article about that as far as professional athletes, you know, it's a lot of money in a short window and you've got to be prepared for what happens afterwards. So yeah, absolutely. So thinking yeah. about the business succession aspect, why uh, why is that uh, planning for that so important? Well, well, really for business succession, that's one of the things that people don't typically plan for. They always plan for getting the business going, working in the business, but they never really think about that. Oh, you know what? I do want to retire at some point <laughs> or what happens if I pass away? You know, typically law firms, you know, we will focus on making sure uh, because our the uh, board, the bar typically requires us to have a plan to transition your clients. But do you have a plan to actually either sell your business or to make sure if a partner wants to buy out your business, you know, making sure that they have some money available so they can do that. Or even if you're selling your portfolio, what all is involved and what do you need to do? So we come in and we work with um, a group of people to make sure that we're able to put some, some tools in place to help them have that transition. Um, you know, because a lot of times, you know, a partner could either, you know, leave by either retiring, you know, they could pass away, unfortunately, which does happen, um, or they could sell it. So we, again, we want to make sure that we have, you know, policies and programs in place for them to actually, you know, do that properly. Um, one of the things that we do is when we work with a client, we'll sit down and and we have uh, six different areas that we go through. We always take a holistic per a perspective whenever we're working with a client. And we our goal is to make sure that they have a great foundation in terms of their entire financial picture, mm -hmm. not just one aspect. So real estate is one piece of it. But we also look at business succession planning. We look at any employees that they may have. Um, we look at all these different areas, retirement planning. Um, uh, wealth, uh, estate planning, that's another area because even attorneys, you know, sometimes unless you're an estate planning attorney, a lot of times that's one area that people don't really think about, but it's something we really need to do, especially if they have children. We need to make sure that we have a plan in place if they have children. Um, so you have, you know, either a trustee involved if you want to build a trust. Um, so we look at all those different areas to make sure, you know, that their entire financial world is intact. And I do like the idea that you help like partners buy out each other, that sort of thing, as well as keeping key employees. So yes. You keep the business strong as they're you're doing all of this. So you've got programs to help them with the key employees as well. 
Yes, we do. And with that is the main thing is whenever you have an employee, as as we all know, especially if you have that one employee that keeps everything going, especially if you're working with either office manager or paralegal, a lot of times we don't want to lose them because we spend so much time with them training them, you know, and if they know the inside out of our business and they know where all the files are stored, you know, they know, you know, what, what to do for court, you know, if, if we need to file anything, they know all the ins and outs. Um, we want to make sure that we have some programs in place for them. So we call it putting the golden handcuffs on them. So it is it incentivizes them to stay and they actually get rewarded the longer that they stay. And most employees like that because they know, you know, the longer I stay with this company, the more money I'll make or the more bonuses I'll get or, you know, whatever the incentive we feel is going to be the best for that particular employee. So you're um, helping yeah. them build wealth while they're staying with you. So they continue to be an integral part of your firm. Exactly. Yeah. And a lot of times smaller law firms don't necessarily have the people in place to, to kind of think about those types of things. And that's where we come in. Um, we do service companies all over the United States. It doesn't matter what state they're in. We can help them. Um, and since COVID, you know, our business is 100% virtual, so we don't have to physically be in the state that the person is in. Uh, we do do a lot of Zoom meetings as well. Um, we also do phone calls if we need to fly somewhere to meet with someone we can. Um, but typically most of our, you know, most law firms, they're busy, you know, and they don't necessarily need to meet on a regular basis. But again, we're available if they need us. We're just a phone call away or a Zoom call away. Awesome. And you do webinars, right? Do you have any we upcoming do. virtual webinar or webinars? That Yes, we do. We actually have a uh, virtual webinar coming up this Friday um, at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's for an hour. And um, our goal there is really, you know, to, to give them some strategies, key strategies that they can utilize in their business to achieve wealth. Um, our goal, again, is to make sure that we're giving people, um, we're educating them about some of the strategies that they can utilize. Um, we believe that education is the best way to help business owners and individuals understand what their options are. Um, and from there, we also, um, during that, that webinar, we actually give them a tool that they can utilize as we're going through that presentation to kind of self-grade themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we, we call it a risk barometer. Our goal mm -hmm. with the risk barometer, again, is to, it's a self, you know, uh, score that they give them themselves in their business to see whether or not, you know, they have, have some holes. And if they have holes, it gives us an opportunity to talk to them about plugging those holes and making their foundation stronger. Very cool. Okay, that's great. So then during the webinar, you determine what your needs are and then yes. have, have a more um, structured conversation with you after that. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And my husband and I, like I said, my husband, uh, Bradley, he um, has a, a MBA. And um, even though he was in engineering for a number of years, he used to work with Harley Davidson in their corporate um, division. And he managed over $20 million worth of assets when he was with them. Um, and so with his background, plus his MBA, it allows him to go in and, and really take a, a good broad overview of what that individuals and the corporations or law firms, um, you know, financial picture looks like. And then we break it down into, like I said, several different areas that we believe are very important to create a foundation for them. And then um, during that risk barometer, we're able to really pinpoint the area that they have problems. So, yes. That sounds incredibly um, uh, thorough to help yes. someone uh, moving forward. And again, I'm surprised too at how many people that, you know, depending on their age, they don't even think about uh, uh, retirement. So the more you think about it or the earlier you think about it, I think it's very, a lot more helpful. So yeah, this yeah. has been great information. So your, uh, your uh, webinar is tomorrow at noon. Um, no, it's Friday. Yeah, Friday, Friday, no Friday, Friday, November 4th. Yep, okay. at 12 p.m. Yeah. All right, great. Thank you for clarifying that. Okay, awesome. Um, this has been just some great information. I really, really do appreciate your time. Um, if anyone wants to learn more about you or get in touch with you, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you? So the best way to reach me is a couple ways. You can actually either call me directly. My number is 913-302-7275. You can email me at Carla, and that's Carla with a K, A-R-L-A, 
Jones, I'm sorry, Carla.JonesWilson at gmail.com. And you can also go to our website at BKFinancialSolutions.com or www.BKFinancialSolutions.com just to learn more about um, my husband and I, Bradley. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to go on there. And there's a button in there that says learn more or contact for more information. So those are the, the three ways to get a hold of me. Wow. Okay, great. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is just for everybody to um, I'm gonna put this contact information in the description of the video. So they'll have that there as well as what you just read off. So it'll be available with the video. Um, thank you, Carla, so much for being here. This has been a pleasure to chat with you and learn so much about what you're doing. Yes, and thank you so much. And then also, Marilyn, too, I'm going to um, give you some information about a link to our, our uh, webinar. It's a Zoom webinar um, for Friday. So if anyone is interested, please feel free to click the link to register, and uh, it'll give you all that contact information so you can actually be part of the webinar. We'd love to have you. And Marilyn, thank you so much. You're such a, you do such a great job and you're so helpful to uh, the different law firms that are out there and to make sure that attorneys, you know, get their marketing, um, you know, done and making sure that they're able to, to obtain more clients. So I appreciate that as well too. Thank you. I'll get that link from you for the uh, registration and, and for the webinar. Absolutely. So Thank you everyone for watching. Um, watch for, to keep an eye out for the next interview and um, have an amazing day. And again, thank you again, Carla. This has been great. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone.